Hey ladies, we are on week three and this week we're going to talk about nail structure and growth. Your learning objectives will be to describe the characteristics of normal and healthy nails, describe the nine basic parts of the nail unit, and discuss how nails grow. Understanding the structure and growth of nails allows you to expertly groom, strengthen, and beautify nails. It is important to know the difference between the nail cuticle and the epinicium before performing nail services. Understanding the structure and growth cycles of the natural nail will prepare you for more advanced nail services. You probably already know that the natural nail has a cuticle. Do you know whether the cuticle is living or dead skin? And do you know where the plate and the bed are located in the natural nail? Chapter 9 gives you the answers to these questions and more. We cannot perform professional nail services without understanding the structure of nail growth of the natural nail. Specializing in nail services will add extra revenue to your pocket and give you another way to express your creative talent. By becoming familiar with the anatomy and the physiology of the nail, you will be able to better recognize abnormalities and disorders that can and cannot service in the salon. Distinguishing the structure of the natural nail. Keratin in natural nails is harder than keratin in the skin or hair. The natural nail is located at the end of the finger or toe. It is an appendage of the skin and is part of the integumentary system, which is made up of the skin and its various organs. Nail plates protect the tips of the fingers and toes, and their appearance can reflect the general health of our body. A healthy nail is also whitish and translucent in appearance, with the pinkish color of the nail bed below showing through. The water content directly affects the nail's flexibility. The lower the water content, the more rigid the nail becomes. The water content of a healthy nail is between 15 to 25%. Using an oil-based nail conditioner or nail polish to coat the nail plate can reduce water loss and prevent excessive absorption and more flexibility. Okay ladies, we're going to do a quick nail analysis. I want you to examine your nails and think about what you see. Is the nail firm and flexible or is it rigid and inflexible? What does the surface of your nail look like? Does your nail look hydrated or is it lacking hydration? Study this diagram of the nail. We're gonna go over each part of the nail. First up is the nail plate. The nail plate is the hardened keratin plate that sits on and covers the nail bed. It is the most visible and functional part of the nail unit. The nail plate is relatively porous and will allow water to pass through it much more easily than through normal skin of equal thickness. As it grows, the nail plate slowly slides across the nail bed. The nail plate is formed by the matrix cells. The sole job of the matrix cells is to create nail plate cells. The nail plate may appear to be one solid piece but is actually constructed of about a hundred layers of nail cells. The free edge is the part of the nail plate that extends over the tip of the finger or toe. Next, we have the nail bed. The nail bed is the portion of living skin that supports the nail plate as it grows toward the free edge because it is richly supplied with blood vessels 
The nail bed has a pinkish appearance from the lanula to the area just before the free edge of the nail. The nail bed contains many nerves and is attached to the nail plate by a thin layer of tissue called the bed epithelium. The bed epithelium helps guide the nail plate along the nail bed as it grows. As a professional, you should understand the difference and use the proper names for the parts of the nail unit. For example, nail polish is applied to the nail plate, not the nail bed. Next, we have the matrix. The matrix is the area where the nail plate cells are formed. It is composed of matrix cells that produce the nail plate cells. The matrix area contains nerves, lymph, and blood vessels to nourish the matrix cells. As long as it is nourished and healthy, the matrix will continue to create new nail plate cells. The matrix extends from under the nail fold at the base of the nail plate. Growth and appearance of the nails can be affected if an individual is in poor health. If a nail disorder or disease is present or if there has been an injury to the matrix. The lanula is the visible part of the matrix that extends from underneath the living skin. It is the whitish half moon shape underneath the base of the nail. The whitish color is caused by the reflection of light off the surface of the visible part of the underlying matrix. The lighter color of the lanula shows the true color of the matrix. Every nail has a lanula, but some lanulas are short and remain hidden under the epinychium. The cuticle is the dead, colorless tissue attached to the natural nail plate. The cuticle comes from the underside of the skin that lies above the natural nail plate. The tissue sticks tight to the nail plate and is difficult to remove. Its job is to seal the space between the natural nail plate and living skin above to prevent entry of foreign material and microorganisms and to help avoid injury and infection. The epinychium is the living skin at the base of the natural nail plate covering the matrix area. The epinychium is often mistaken for the cuticle. They are not the same. The cuticle is the dead tissue adhered to the nail plate. The epinychium is living tissue that grows up to the nail plate. The cuticles come from the underside of this area where it completely detaches from the epinychium and strongly attaches to the new growth of nail plate. It pulls free to form a seal between the natural nail plate and the epinychium. The perionychium is the living skin bordering the root and sides of the fingernail and toenail, and the hyponychium is slightly thickened skin that lies between the fingertip and the free edge. It is also a protective barrier that seals the free edge, preventing microorganisms from invading and infecting the nail bed. A ligament is a tough band of fibrous tissue that connects bones or holds an organ in place. Specialized ligaments attach the nail bed and matrix bed to the underlying bone. These ligaments are located at the base of the matrix and around the edges of the nail bed. Nail folds are folds of normal skin surrounding the nail plate. They form nail grooves or furrow on each side of the nail. The sidewall, also known as the lateral nail fold, is the fold of skin overlapping the side of the nail. A normal nail grows forward from the matrix and extends over the tip of the finger. Normal, healthy nails can grow in a variety of shapes depending on the shape of the matrix. The length width and curvature of the matrix determines the thickness, width, and curvature of the natural nail plate. Did you know middle fingernails grow fastest, thumbnails grow the slowest, 
and toenails grow slower than fingernails. Nails are not shed automatically like hair. If the nail is abnormal in shape or form, it is called nail malformation. This can be a temporary or permanent condition caused by disease, injury, or infection that has affected the matrix. It can change the shape or thickness of the nail plate and can appear altered or deformed. These conditions are generally the only reason a person will shed a nail. As a person ages, part of the nail matrix begin to permanently slow down production, causing the plate to develop a series of narrow grooves running down the length of the plate. I want you to think back to the last nail malformation that you have noticed either on your hands or the hands of someone else. What did that look like? What did that feel like? How long did it take for that nail to be replaced or to heal? Working on strong, healthy nails can be a pleasure, but remember as a licensed cosmetologist, you are allowed to work only on healthy nails and skin with no visible signs of disease or infection. You also may not diagnose a condition. You can only refer the client to a physician. Nail structure and growth summarized. Well manicured nails, whether natural or artificially applied, have always been recognized as an indication of good grooming. Nails originate in the epidermal layer of the skin and like hair, their condition is dependent upon the individual's overall health. A balanced diet filled with the daily required vitamins and nutrients will help produce healthy, disorder-free nails. Remember that your creativity in providing quality nail services must be grounded in a thorough knowledge and awareness of the structure and the physiology of the nails. This concludes our chapter nine PowerPoint. I want you to read over your chapter nine in your textbook and answer your chapter nine review questions along with your chapter nine vocabulary.